we talked about living on one income in our episode, like in one of our episodes, for those of you who listened to it. Um, and if you haven't listened to it, you can go listen to it. There are great nuggets in there. Uh, but we just wanted to clarify that we are not out here, you know, just just preaching that people should live on one income. Or neither are we even saying that we restrict ourselves to live on one income. So she's not just bound to, you know, being at home taking care of Charlie. She has the liberty to put her time to use. And sometimes the way she goes about using her time, um, the service that or services that, that she might render to someone could bring in some money. And that's okay. Let's talk about the fact that we don't actually live on one income. Okay. No, you know what? We do live on one income because we're talking <laughs> about the money that it takes to live, right? Not yeah. necessarily all the income that we bring in. Yeah. We do live on one income. Um, do you want to give some context? <laughs> <laughs> I've heard people talk about, and it's been interesting and educational for me, but I don't know how much detail I want to go into. Um, <laughs> basically about the work women do that is paid, not just the unpaid labor that we do, like, you know, as homemakers and so forth. A lot of, a lot of YouTubers who are doing YouTube content about staying at home, uh, being stay at home mothers, they're making money off their content on YouTube. You know, <laughs> I don't make money off my, you know, social media content just by the way. Not yet. Hopefully yeah. I will eventually. <laughs> Maybe. Anyway, but, um, you know, and so that's a reality. And I think a clarification Charlie? that someone made. Sorry. <laughs> Charlie's playing here. And he's playing with his audio Bible. And it's a little distracting to me. Okay. Charlie, Just keep the volume down, that's can all. Can we turn it down a little bit? Let Daddy help you. <laughs> Thank you. You want to come sit? <laughs> <laughs> okay so in another podcast should i plug the podcast or just be anonymous yeah we can plug it yes uh it's a, a podcast i really enjoy listening to it's called now that we are a family with katie and elisha votberg and uh -huh. they were talking about among other things they were saying that part of this whole thing of divvying responsibility women being homemakers and I guess carrying that is like to learn to be creative because at the end of the day when we look at the Proverbs 31 woman she wasn't not working like she was working mm -hmm. you know but she worked in diverse ways she, she was industrious she yeah. was um she's also older so I mean maybe her kids were also older <laughs> <laughs> um but in any case the point is, it's not, and I never said anyway, I don't think we ever said it's a sin to, for a woman to make money. And there's a lot of instances in no, which a woman no. should, you yeah, know, and yeah. could could work and earn uh, income and absolutely. so forth. Yeah, I think the idea that we wanted to get across, I feel like I'm all over the place, but the, <laughs> that what we wanted to get across on living on one income, it's not just living on one income for living on one income sake, <laughs> right? It's because... I have a small child that we made right. this decision. And I think that other women with small children should strongly consider um, staying home with their children and being the primary caretaker. And yeah. it could be either parent, but I think God has made it. I think we see in like naturally why it makes sense that a woman takes on that responsibility. The child came out of our own bodies. We literally make milk for them. Like they need us in a way that it just makes sense for us no, to be the ones sense. that stay yeah. home. Like <laughs> it just aligns. It just makes sense, yeah. And um, and so we live on Thomas's income, and that is true. Now that I think about it, we this is our second time recording, and the first time I said it, it might not be true, but it is true. We do live on one income because what we need to live is all provided through Thomas's income. Yeah. However, I actually do make like random little monies here and there. You know, but they don't necessarily go toward um, our living. They are kind of just random, I guess. Depending on the season that I made the money, we decide what to do with it. <laughs> um, so I tutor once a week and I also like sporadically babysit. I may like sporadically yeah. make money doing someone's hair, uh, whatever, like. You know, I just may get money here and there for doing you just, random you things. Your time to use, yeah. <laughs> and, and sometimes that comes with 
some financial rewards. Yes. And that's not my money. That's still our money. Yeah. You know, so in a sense, you know, maybe somebody who misunderstood what we were saying in our previous podcast, I guess I just want to clarify that mm -hmm. living on one income doesn't have to mean literally like only one person makes money. I think the idea is two things is twofold one is that don't sacrifice try your best not to sacrifice you know time with your small child especially or growing child let's say yeah. um you know to go work if you don't have to if you can live on one income do that so that, so that you can prioritize your your family your children your home and the second part of that i, I forget what i was gonna say but in any case <laughs> Um, yeah, I feel like I'm talking all over the place, but living on one income is also just kind of great and wise. Like even if you are working, I feel like if you can yeah. train yourself to live on one income, it's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. And then you can figure out what to do with the rest. It's pay a, off, pay it's off a financially whatever. wise strategy. Yeah. Let's put it that way. Mm -hmm. Even if you have two income streams, it's still wise to live on one, especially if that's adequate. Mm -hmm. Live on one, which that means the other stream is going to go into something else that's going to benefit you and your family. So from a purely, you know, financial strategy point of view, it's still a good thing to do. Even when both of you are working, it's a good thing to say, let's live on my husband's income and let's put this other income coming from my wife's um, job into something else. 